e fez. Hey folks, welcome to another Print and Paint Kickstarter countdown. I have 18 new campaigns to share with you today. Quick update on my own, all 9 sets are complete and I've added magnet holders to them as well. It still has 8 days to go and I only have to add supports, so I'm thinking of adding more base styles as well as square bases. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. First up for today, we have a new adventure. Printable or resin cast bust by Jamie Corte of Sweden, their sixth Kickstarter campaign. This is a bust of a young adventurer setting out on their first journey. Jamie is attempting with this campaign to embark on a new adventure of their own, casting. You can get the bust digitally or cast in resin. This campaign ends on October 11th with rewards expected in December. Amber Husaria Fantasy Football, printable or resin cast minis by Heresy Lab of Italy, their 24th Kickstarter campaign. This is a team of Hussar inspired football players with a bear for the big guy. Digitally and physically, you can get the whole team, and there is also a retailer tier. This campaign ends on October 14th with rewards expected in December. Pantheon, Volume 1, Lore of the Nile, Printable Gods by Moji Bake of Spain, their ninth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes five Egyptian deities, Anubis, Ra, Hathor, Sobek, and Sekhmet. You can get any of the five individually, all together, or a commercial license, and you can also access a previous campaign's rewards. This campaign ends on October 16th, with rewards expected in November. Dwarves, a class of their own. Metal Minis by Midlam Miniatures of the United Kingdom, their 34th Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of 12 dwarves, male and female. There are rangers, clerics, wizards, warriors, rogues, and monks. You can get one dwarf, two dwarves, the whole set, or a double set. This campaign ends on October 16th, with rewards expected in December. Legions of the Undead, printable minis by Arbiter Miniatures of Denmark, their fifth Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of skelly warriors designed to be printed without the need of supports. There is more than 20 in total, including one skelly beast. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on October 17th, with rewards expected in December. The Adventurers and Monsters Plastic Miniatures Edition by Jugo Rama of Spain, their seventh Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 108 pre-assembled plastic minis. There's roughly 20 heroes, with the rest being monsters in multiples of 5. You can get the whole set, or pick up smaller portions as add-ons. This campaign ends on October 19th, with rewards expected in September of 2022. Tamed and Wild Ones, Printable Prehistoric Beasts and Terrain by Koval Ludmila of the United States, their seventh Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a dozen animals with quite a few different poses and options, including young ones, dead ones, and tamed and armored ones. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on October 24th, with rewards expected in November. Halloween Mimics Printable minis by Little Dragon Miniatures of Norway, their 8th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 7 mimics for your adventuring fun, witches and graveyard themed for Halloween. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on October 24th, with rewards expected in November. Grand Fleet Admiral 
printable space game by Leggy of the United Kingdom, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes five factions of space fleets and a set of rules for you to battle with. You can get the whole set, and a couple people can still get a merchant license with custom factions designed for them. This campaign ends on October 25th, with rewards expected in November. The Astra Nebula Printable Space Fleets by EC3D Design of the United States, their 14th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes two fleets of warships, with two more in the stretch goals, as well as civilian ships and space creatures. Just one tier and that's all in. This campaign ends on October 24th, with rewards expected in November. OpenLock Industrial Platforms, Printable Game Terrain by Wargame Forge of the United States, their sixth Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of industrial styled platforms with more than 50 pieces already unlocked. You can get the whole set and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on October 24th with rewards expected in December. Echo, War of the Ravaged, printable skirmish game by Acadia Games of the United States, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a skirmish game with four factions and a bunch of printable cards and other assets. You can get any of the factions individually or all together. This campaign ends on October 28th with rewards expected in November. Dragon's Forge Miniatures, printable or printed minis by Rob West of the United Kingdom, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of 10 modular heroes with more in the stretch goals. There are sorcerers, halflings, dwarves, dragonfolk warriors, and bards. This one uses a digital currency scheme for pricing that you'll have to check out if you're interested. This campaign ends on October 30th with rewards expected in March. Crazy Stars for Fantasy Football, printable minis by Louis Moreno of Spain, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set is divided into three groups of This set is divided into three groups of five, with the only images shown being spread across the first two. You can get the first set, the first and second, or all three. This campaign ends on November 2nd, with rewards expected in January. Fantasy Files Dice Towers, printable accessories by Austin of Canada, their fourth Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of 10 dice towers with various themes, from citadels and castles to a Mayan temple and a lighthouse village. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on November 2nd, with rewards expected the same month. The Grimness Fortress, printable terrain by DecoQuest Workshop of France, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a large, highly detailed fortress. It comes in many parts, so you should be able to rearrange it to make your own unique fortress. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on November 5th, with rewards expected in February. Fantasy House 2 Printable Terrain by Caledonia Miniatures of the United States, their 14th Kickstarter campaign. This is another fantasy house with textured interior from Caledonia Miniatures. Pay what you want for the house, pay a little more for a commercial license, and you can also access previous campaign's rewards. This campaign ends on November 5th, with rewards expected the same month. And finally, Deluxe Train Set, printable train cards by CGSOMAFX of Australia, their second Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of 30 train cars. Unfortunately, all but one are stretch goals, which if they don't unlock, leaves you paying $30 for that one. 
you can get all unlocked stretch goals and access to their previous campaign. This campaign ends on November 30th, with rewards expected the same month. That's all for now. I'd like to give a huge thanks to all my patrons on Patreon, especially my newest patron, Justice Games. If you enjoy the videos, then a like and subscribe, and if you would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon campaign or my Kickstarter campaign mentioned at the beginning of the video. Thanks for watching everyone.